You all right, my friend? From our own devices, here it comes. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another video on our own devices. I'm Jin Yassi, and today we are having a look at a deceptively simple device whose inner workings have proven remarkably difficult to work out, and indeed remain the subject of considerable debate to this day. This is known as a Crookes radiometer, and it consists of a partially evacuated glass bulb inside of which are four metal veins painted white on one side. All right, be sure you understand. Partially evacuated means there's a vacuum in here, not necessarily no gases, but there's less gases. It's depressurized. All right, and then here's the veins. I'll let him finish. And black on the other, suspended on a low friction spindle so that they can rotate freely in the horizontal plane. And how this works is, if I shine a light on the radiometer, the veins will begin to spin. Notice the black is going this way, not the white. The white. This is the white side. The black here is being pushed this way. And the speed of rotation is directly proportional to the intensity of the light, hence the name radiometer, something which measures electromagnetic radiation, or in this case, visible light. However, these aren't used as scientific instruments, but rather as desktop toys or as educational aids. That's because they don't know how they work. I'm serious. They have, they have no clue. And I finally figured it out. I've been working on this for a little while because I have to show everything with electron flood theory. And I can tell you exactly why this is. Well, I think I can. I'm explaining to you it's because of the glass. All right, this just keeps getting crazier and crazier. This, there's UVA and UVB, that's ultraviolet A and ultraviolet B radiation, all right? One of them is deep penetrating, and the other one doesn't penetrate much, but it burns like hell. Let's look at that. All right, everybody knows what a sunburn is. And it says you can get a sunburn through glass, but the chances of it happening are minimal, almost a non-existence. Simple plain glass filters out approximately 97% of the sunburn causing UVBA. This is ultraviolet B rays, right? The remaining 3% can still damage you, but it's very, yeah, I mean, 3% instead of 100, that's not too bad. So that's the UVB rays. Those are the, the glowy particles that burn. All right, and what is the UVA? All right, you really don't have to get too deep into this, but just understand that a standard window glass will allow UVA, and I'll show you what that is, to pass through, while almost 100% of the UVB does not pass through. So you have two particles. You have a black one, you have a white one. The black one can go through, the white one bounces back and is absorbed. All right, here it is right here. It's very simple. That's what light is. It's two blacks and two whites. Well, guess what? The white ones are the one that burns you and gives you sunburn, and they're very, very burnable. The black ones can just flow right through because they don't, they're, they're just bowling balls. They go straight through there. So what's going to happen when it hits the, the glass, the light is like this, and that can give you a sunburn because you got those two really glowy particles. When it hits the glass, 97% are absorbed. So you may get one white one and 10 black ones coming out here. So you've got less white, which is the glowy, burny part, all right, because you don't get sunburn on this side. And this also accounts for why the white particle gets sucked, the white side gets sucked back when you take the light off it. He, he, I, I don't know if I showed you, he's, he's, the, the video where that guy is talking about the one I gave you for the introduction is pretty good. And he talks about when they shine an extreme amount of white light on the white side, it does start to go, but not much, and then it stops. You take the white light away, and it comes back this way. They can't, can't understand it. Well, on both sides of the glass, you have electrons all over here, both sides. All right, that's why when the white hits it here, they bounce off. The, the white one hits it, hits it, and hits it, and they bounce back this way. On that side, no, no problem. However, it will affect what's inside here coming out. It will push back on the inside. 
there's a little bit of work to do in here to try to understand why this exactly what's happening inside but I think I do understand it because you don't have hardly any you have no extra electrons basically no extra particles because that, that's what pressure is when you have more and more particles in there you get, you get pressure you have less and less which is a vacuum and, and nobody's pushing on anybody so it's no big deal I think I fully understand it now and it's because of the glass this is the glass